Hey guys, Cassie Deputy with DeputyTribe.com. Again, we are in my kitchen today. Um, we have been working on my kids' health. As some of you have known, they had allergy testing done and they came out allergic to pretty much every food in the book. So it's been a little bit of a challenge to cook. We have reintroduced some things such as nuts um, because our allergist did not believe that was a true allergy. And then we've also discovered other things that they're having issues with, such as corn and soy and some other things that they're having issues with. But I met with their doctor yesterday and we came up with a, a plan to try to heal their bodies. Um, my twins, my older two, have had severe lead poisoning since they were about two years old. The highest lead levels that they have seen in Minnesota in the last 30 years. Um, it's a miracle that they are uh, well and their brain capacity and function is um, above their average um, age. They had lead levels that got as high as 74, um, which the legal limit, anything above five is considered lead poisoned. Anything above 10 is considered um, like um, an emergency. And then anything above 30, they uh, hospitalize you and put you through chelation. So that just gives you context. We've been fighting their lead levels for, they're 10 now, so for the last eight years. Um, and they still have pretty high lead levels. They're sitting in the upper 20s, um, which is a miracle considering how high their lead levels were and that lead has a half-life of about seven years. So with their doctor, um, we met yesterday and we just talked over how their health is doing, um, where their allergies have been, how we've been handling things, and we came up with a plan. So we have a whole slew of supplements that they're going to be getting on. Um, and then just sticking with our really strict diet. Um, I'm cooking a lot still. I do have, I have found some tricks of some stuff that we can eat on the campaign trail. So that's been a blessing. But I wanted to just include more pictures of food. Um, more kind of what we've been doing with our meals. So if you keep an eye on our website and our Facebook page and things like that, I will be snapping more pictures of food and kind of giving you an update on how their health is going. Um, as far as their supplements go, what we're doing is a 50 billion strand of probiotics that they're gonna start with. And we will be, in six months from now, moving to a probiotic that's 200 billion. And it's taken once a week and it's actually a suppository. So that's down the road in six months from now. They'll be on collagen, gelatin, some heavy B vitamins, 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C, 10,000 of vitamin D, along with some fermented cod liver oil, which is high in A, K, and D. Um, some enzymes that help break down proteins, because she thinks that they're having an issue with that. Some, I'm not gonna say this right, lidomy, liposomal glutamine, glutamine? Um, to support their liver. Gosh, what else? Um, there's something else that I can't remember, but I'll, I'll send you guys some pictures of the supplements and stuff that they're gonna have the girls on. And then I'm gonna be meeting with my doctor next week and we're gonna be putting together, oh, magnesium, lots of magnesium. We're gonna be putting together probably almost an identical plan for me, um, for my chronic migraines and other health issues that I've been having which I'm pretty healthy compared to where I was a long time ago. But um, yeah, so that's kind of the update. I am cooking food right now, so I thought about it. Um, so I'm gonna start sharing more of that and their healing process with you guys. So we'll start with the twins and me and then move to the next kid, that, um, which would be Elias and my husband uh, with their health issues, the same boat. So keep you guys posted. Thanks for tuning in.